Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so take a look at this topic here uh, that I'm going to be sharing with you. There is apparently a judge that says the Tulsa Race Massacre descendants cannot sue for reparations. And so when I when I saw this right away, I said to myself, okay, so some folk are up to monkey business again. They're up to some more monkey business. Uh, we look around the world and we see everybody getting reparations for this that happened 5,000 years ago and that that happened 10,000 years ago. And of course, y'all know I'm exaggerating. But we know of events that have happened to people of other racial groups where they are getting towed off, or should I say paid, uh, for things that happened to their ancestors, right? Uh, you still have people being paid for things. But when it comes to so-called black people, there's all this red tape and studies that need to be made and meetings that need to be had and just all of this stuff that they need to go through only to come back with the findings. Uh, you know what? You can't sue. Uh, there will be no reparations for you. Not, no, not for the descendants. Only for the three that are alive and remaining that actually went through it. And they know that the chances of them surviving, look, they're in their hundreds, okay? And so that right away tells me that uh, somebody is trying to be funny. That's, that's the way I see it. But anyway, let's get into the story, y'all. Let's get into this. Not funny in a good way either. So Tulsa Race Massacre descendants can't sue for reparations, according to a judge. Uh, Judge Caroline Wall dismissed six descendants and multiple organizations from a lawsuit while the three last known survivors of the 1921 massacre can seek reparations. Okay. Wait till y'all see how old they are. Okay. Six descendants of victims of the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre cannot sue for reparations. An Oklahoma judge said, while three known survivors of the attack can move forward with the lawsuit, Tulsa County District Judge Caroline Wall signed the order on Tuesday, allowing Leslie Benningfield, mother, Randall, 106 years old, Viola, mother Fletcher, 107 years old, and Hughes Van Ellis, Sr., 101 years old, to seek reparations under state nuisance laws, according to the Associated Press. In addition to the six descendants, Wall dismissed the historic Vernon AME Church, Inc., and the Tulsa African Ancestral Society as plaintiffs in the case as well as the Tulsa Development Authority and the Tulsa Metropolitan Area Planning Commission as defendants because they didn't exist in 1921. Okay, so I can see those, right? But the descendants, are you kidding me? It says the city of Tulsa, Tulsa County Commissioners, uh, Tulsa Region, cha Regional Chamber, the Tulsa County Sheriff, and the Oklahoma Military Department will remain as defendants in the lawsuit. Bottom line is that survivors are in. We have the opportunity to prove the massacre itself uh, constitutes a nuisance. Demario Solomon Simons, or Simmons, a lawyer for the survivors, told Associated Press, We look forward to proving our case around the massacre's ongoing catastrophic effects and demonstrating the actions that defendants must take to repair and reveal the Greenwood community during our clients' lifetimes. Uh, Solomon Simmons said during a news conference that he had spoken with the individuals who were dismissed from the case, adding that they were saddened by the dismissal, but still very excited that the su survivors are moving forward with the lawsuit and can represent the entire community of Greenwood. Wall's order requires lawyers from both sides to amend the claim for reparations which sought unspecified punitive damages 
and called for the creation of a hospital in North Tulsa, a Tulsa Massacre Victims Compensation Fund, and mental and education programs. Okay. Uh, the Tulsa Race Massacre occurred in 1921 when a mob of white people attacked black residents and destroyed businesses and homes in the pros prosperous Greenwood District of Tulsa, Oklahoma, also known as Black Wall Street. Um, well, they are claiming that an estimated 300 people were killed, uh, most of whom were black, and about 10,000 black people were left unhoused and forced to live in an internment camp. Uh, but uh, there are other reports, breaking away from, from the article uh, for a moment, there are other reports that there were a lot more than that killed. Uh, there were other reports of that. But um, anyway, it says, according to the Associated Press, insurance companies and the city of Tulsa never compensated victims and survivors for their losses. Uh, the massacre, uh, which is considered one of the worst incidents of racial violence in American history, resulted in racial and economic disparities that still exist today, uh, the lawyer asserts. The lawsuit also claims that in the years following the massacre, city and county officials allegedly actively thwarted the community's effort to rebuild and neglected the Greenwood and predominantly black North Tulsa community in favor of overwhelmingly white parts of Tulsa. The massacre received re renewed attention in 2020 when former President Donald Trump chose Tulsa as the location for one of his campaign rallies amid the country's racial reckoning and nationwide uprising. However, Trump rescheduled his June rally to avoid coinciding with the Juneteenth a celebration that was taking place in the city's Greenwood district. For the first time in a hundred years, the last three living survivors of the Tulsa race massacres will finally have an opportunity to hold accountable the institutions that instigated and facilitated one of the worst acts of domestic terrorism and violence in this country's history. Okay, so Michael Swartz, another attorney for the survivor, said to the Associated Press News, added that the lawsuit provides an opportunity for a better understanding of the massacre. Okay, so basically, uh, this is something that uh, was a very dark and dingy stain on Americans' history, okay? And it still continues to be a stain. Things and incidents such as this have happened uh, for a very long time. Uh, so this isn't the only one. It's recorded as one of the worst. Uh, these are the things that uh, white America don't want to talk about. They don't want to hear about. Many don't even know about. They want to keep quiet about it. They don't want their children knowing about it. They feel like it's harmful to their children. But uh, to so-called black people and black children who continue to suffer violence at the hands of white citizens, um, hey, they want you to just deal with it. Get over it. Even if it just happened yesterday, get over it, right? This is why the judgment of the Most High God of Heaven, as the world calls him, um, is going to continue to unfold, not just around the world, but in this country, uh, because America is unrepentant. Uh, they refuse to repent for the deeds that they've done. They continue to gaslight you as if you have no right to even speak of the things that have been done and continue to happen. It's not like this stuff has stopped and that we've seen an absence of this type of um, systematic um, frustration and persecution. It still continues. Uh, there is still a system in place that ensures that black citizens are not going to be treated fairly. But there are those who want to continue to deny that. This is why the judgment of our creator is in this place. It's in America. And we're going to continue to see it unfold. Yes. Anyway, I'm done with the story. Share your comments and your thoughts below. Until next time, I'm out. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.